This is the incredible true story of the Horn family. Set in the backdrop of 1972 in Melbourne, Australia, they were just like any other Australian family. There was a father, a mother, and three kids, age 11, 10, and eight. One day, when the family was at home, they received a package from their grandmother on the mother's side. And outside the usual chocolates and treats, there was a letter saying that she was sick and the family needed to get to England. The Horn family didn't know what to do. They could get flights, but they were way too expensive in 1972. So the Horn family were just stuck in Melbourne for now. But one day, when the kids were watching the AFL Grand Final, the father came in and he had a brilliant idea. With his experience as a Royal Marine, they could build a boat and sail it all the way to England. Now the father had some crazy ideas over the years, but this time he was serious. So when they were all in the lounge room, he presented the Ferry Ho. The dinghy that they were going to sail to England. They placed cargo on the back, and now they just needed to find a place to launch. And this is where the adventure begins. They decided the best place to launch would be Rockhampton in Queensland. So they took the boat on a courier and went up there. On a beach in Rockhampton, they continued their preparations. And it didn't take long until there was a crowd watching, even media attention. Even their own spot in the Rockhampton newspaper. Launch day came at last, and the boat went out and it sank. Nobody saw it though, so they got back to shore and they continued their preparations. But just then, a cyclone hits all over Queensland. Now because no one saw them come back to land, there's a whole search and rescue operation going to try and find them out in the water. It wasn't until they were back at their caravan park listening to the radio that they heard, we must find the Horn family. So they went to the Coast Guard, told them that they were okay, and the Coast Guard told them that under no circumstances were they able to sail anymore. So faced with the option of going home, the Horn family decided to press on. But they couldn't sail anymore. And then a new idea hit. Why don't they hitchhike? So they put out their thumbs and got a lift to Cairns. In Cairns, parents got a job, kids went to school for a little bit. They earned enough money so that they can get a flight to Thursday Island. In Thursday Island, they went fishing and worked a little bit more until they were the official navigators on a Japanese pearling lugger, which took them to Darwin. In Darwin, they stayed for a few months and then they were ready to leave Australia. They landed in Baokao in East Timor and it was a culture shock. It was busy, it was dirty, it was amazing for them. They then jumped on a truck from Bacau and got to Dili, the capital city. And there, they just missed the ferry that would take them across the border. For the road ahead, they were presented two options. They could wait a week and a half, staying on the beach, waiting for the next transport to take them across the border. Or, they could trek 200 kilometers across cliff sides where no white family had ever gone before had a cup of tea to help the decision process. And then the father said, well, we're a pretty fit family. Let's do it. They crossed through the rainforest, the youngest child being chased by a boar. They stayed in tents, but there was no room for the dead, so he got mauled by mosquitoes. They met tribes and exchanged gifts along the way. But when they finally got to the border, the father collapsed. Despite the father getting sick, they pushed on. They went through cargo boats in Indonesia, all the while he was getting sicker and sicker. It was to try and get there in time to see their grandmother, but more it was to try and push on for the idea of adventure. It was when they got to Jakarta that an army man forced them to get to a hospital. The doctor told them that if they got there any later, the father might have died. He had malaria and blackwater fever. This is when they had a family meeting and the kids said enough is enough. So the parents decided they may need to give up the adventure. So they appealed to the English consulate, and the English consulate agreed to send them over to England, provided they handed their passports ready to be paid back at a later time. After a year of sailing, hitchhiking and travelling, the Horn family arrived in England. But the mood wasn't one of happiness. They arrived the day after the grandmother passed away. The Horns learned that family was the most important thing, and all they had in the end. They stayed in England for another year and a half, paying off their passports. And then, well, then they needed to get back to Australia. So they hitchhiked all the way back through Europe and the Middle East, eventually making it back in Melbourne.
as you've just seen, it is an incredible story that I have the wonderful, wonderful opportunity to make into a feature film. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but that's what this channel is about. It's about creating that into a feature film and vlogging every process of the way. So please subscribe. Uh, there's another video just on the side at the moment that you can have a look at, which will basically show you the start of my uh, journey of the behind the scenes of making this film. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week or sooner. See ya.